Here comes the conversions. These are very important. One piece of wall not getting deleted by Tim. That's a little bit of misplay. Awesome, Mike Ming and Osha. Oh my gosh. Wow. Killing two wow. scouts. And that's a huge win for the Max. He's able to continue to push in now. Okay, let me see real quick. I mean, as I'm very new to this, <laughs> I'm first of all uh, excited how they will where they will land with their TCs, but let's start first of all. So we got on the left hand side Max with a Chinese, uh, bottom left hand side of the map, um, placing his TC over there. And what about the others? I don't see any of them. Oh yeah, there's CL now with uh, the Persians uh, on the top left hand side of the map. And finally we also see Valise, very very close to uh, the Max there. I mean, not too close though, with the Mongols. And finally, finally, on the right hand side, just him. Tim with the Goss. Yeah, look, give me, so Tim and, and CL, they're over kind of in the north ish of the map. And then over in the south, we have the Max and Valise. Sometimes it just takes a second to get yourself oriented. So very close town center positions for the Max and Valise. And on the right, uh, kind of more farther away, um, we have uh, Tim and CL. These are, of course, the number six and number seven seed. My name is Nobody. This is Dem Red Eyes. And this should shape up to be an exciting game. And which civilizations in these p particular positions this game do you favor? <laughs> well, well, now that we, we've seen the first uh, match there, I, I'd go for Chinese and Mongols again. I mean, just, you know... Uh, the matchup with the Persians and Gauls, they need to be really far, fast and efficient. But this time, this time we have to also keep into, uh, into consideration that, you know, Tim, the Goth guy, on the right hand side of the map, is kind of alone over there. So I guess this time, maybe this time, uh, we will see the Goth and the Persians shine. Because the Goth player has all the space that he needs in order to, to go for a boom and maybe to do some heavy castle aggression there. I was about to say that these two civilizations, the Persians and Goths, they love to boom. What do you need to boom? You want a little bit of space and you don't want to be anywhere near your opponents. And that's completely true for Tim. Of course, one thing to keep in mind will be the dock positions. Tim will place his dock mm -hmm. in the top right side and he will be pretty close to the Max who has placed his dock also in the top right, right side. However, the Max is playing as Chinese, not nearly as aggressive as the Mongols like we saw last game. And we'll have to see what kind of strategy um, sorry, the Max decides to go for if he decides to go for a feudal rush or he decides to go for a fast castle. Um, where is our Mongols player's uh, dock? His, his dock is all the way in the bottom left, so it shouldn't yep. be able to threaten anybody anytime soon, even if he gets his fast Mongol imp, uh, Mongol uh, feudal age. Yeah, that's true. I mean, his dock seems to be safe. That's an advantage for him. He can go and get some food. And yeah. Early, early feudal, heavy feudal aggression there is possible, and he's not that far away from the others. If we look at the distance between Valise and CL, I mean it's quite some distance still. Uh, but if he finds out about his positioning there, he'll be able to go there as fast as possible. And this is the crazy thing about Nomad. Nomad is such a variable map, especially with you can place town centers and docks in random positions, resources are distributed randomly, the map looks different every time, and it's such a crazy map that it's hard to predict just based off the civilizations how things will play out um, because there's so many different map variables. And that's one of the things I, I love about Nomad. It's one of the crazier maps that we get to see that's in the standard map pool. And I'm really glad we have a tournament to shine a spotlight onto this crazy, unique map. That's very true. I couldn't com uh, I couldn't agree anymore. Because where in which map else do you see villagers luring the deer and, and pushing the deer into the TC, man? That's something else. Really cool to see that. Mega Random's really the only map that comes close, but that's not really a, uh, a competitive map. So let's look a little bit at, uh, at their fishing. We see the Max up into two fish. Tim up to one, down in the bottom left, two fish for Valise, and top uh, CL Persians, three fish. Some players might be wanting to add a second dock any, uh, soon, and the big question right now is will players go for a feudal rush or will they go for a fast castle? That's true indeed. I mean, for Tim, it's kind of obvious. I mean, it would make sense if he goes for castle, but if we look at Valise, as you said correctly, his 
his uh, food income is quite stable there and it won't be harmed anytime soon I guess uh, if nothing too special too surprising happens so I could see him go for fuel aggression there especially uh, he has the Mongols therefore we can see something from them we can expect a lot from them in the fuel age um, not sure though I mean for CL at least I mean look at this position of this TC he has a lot of deer there he, he's gathering some food from uh, the boar he has another boar on the left hand side a lot of deer the bushes um, some sheep still using in order to scout um, so he has the chances also to go up really really fast and really efficiently to the next stage I'm not sure man I, I mean there are a lot of I mean for for CL and Tim there are a lot of chances to go uh, cast Lage. I love to just nitpick players uh, especially professional players when I ever can uh, but one thing I do want to mention I, I know you're playing as Mongols Felice you have a big deer patch on the left side maybe even a little bit of shore fish but for me if um if Felice wanted to go for a fast feudal i think it would have been better off just taking those sheep and avoiding that idle time um mm -hmm. maybe i'm wrong but uh because uh, Felice will be able to click up now but um do you agree with that i mean true true i mean you're absolutely right it could be a way to go up really faster in order to be uh, i mean while being um, more efficiently but he didn't do it so uh yeah Tiny Not detail, but I, I just love taking any detail and just nitpicking the pro players for it. Make me feel a little bit better about my own play. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> always, always a good thing to do. Anyway, he's going up with a mining camp of all things, so not not surprising that he's going to go with the, some galleys. But um, never mind. I was thinking him and the Max were not in the same team, so so he's going to go galley rush right away. Not surprising mm -hmm. at all. No surprises anywhere. Yeah, so far no surprises. Interesting though, CL's uh, wall there, the Palisade wall, quite, quite a big wall there. Uh, so he doesn't want to get interrupted anytime soon. It looks like he wants to go for uh, the fast castle over there. He's clicked up uh, the latest now, 12 minutes there. So it certainly looks like that. He has the possibilities to do that, but I'm not very sure. Not yeah, so sure. once again, these civilizations are kind of showing a little bit of a play style. Really, only the Mongols player is the only one that wants to go for this fast feudal. The rest of the players really want to go for their um, for their fast castles. We'll have the Max coming up first, followed by Tim. And uh, with that, since their docks are so close together, we should see a little bit of a galley battle. Um, not too much time between them, however. Yeah, that's true. I'm just looking at all the TCs there. If there's something special, but you're right. I mean, the rest is going for some uh, fast castle. A lot of gold being gathered from everyone nearly. Everyone but uh, Valise. Therefore, let's see what he's gonna do, you know? I'm a little curious. Uh, Tim has gone up to the next stage, but I don't think he's actually seen the dock of, uh, of the Max, which is very interesting. Going over to the Max's point of view, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not exactly sure he's seen the dock of Tim also. However, they're both... Uh, oh, he's got, a, he's got a rally point right at the dock, so he must have noticed it somehow. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if, if something's going to happen there. I mean, they're so, so close to each other there. Yeah, and the Tim's noticed too. I, I don't know how they noticed, because I don't see the dock anywhere. Maybe they saw a villager walking to build it. Uh, I'm kind of curious Probably. about that. But either way, we'll have a fire galley war in the bottom right here. Mm-hmm. All right, so the max has clicked up. For Castle Age. And yeah. What do you think he's going to go for? I mean he he he's not getting any stone so far. Just just gold. Yeah, with that amount of gold, I would not be surprised at all to see Well he's got market market up. Um so no barracks. Mm. Oh boy, are we gonna see maybe a monk play or something like along those lines? That's a lot of gold to be taking. That's true, that reminds me of some arena play there, you know where people tend to go for a smush and certainly looks like that but maybe who knows maybe he just wants a sling but for that his map is too exposed not walled at all so uh, probably he will do something uh, military wise with his gold and no slinging there but good call with the market there so it looks like a little bit of mutual destruction with the uh, the fishing ships here on the right we'll keep an eye on that as that develops <laughs> Um, as those um, fire ships take out more and more of those uh, fishing ships. Right now, pretty even. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim may be doing a little bit more damage, but uh, Tim only has fish, four fish on the water, so not huge advantage for him. Some players advance the castle age, and we'll see what kind of uh, plays they decide to go for. 
Exactly. I'm just wondering uh, about Tim. I mean, he hasn't clicked up yet, did he? No, he didn't. And I don't see too much, too much of action. It's, it, I'm not even sure what he wants to achieve with all of this. I mean, he goes for heavy, heavy uh, woods and a bit of uh, food there. So he's just, a, he maybe wants to be active on water. But besides that, I don't see anything. At least from Tim. Yeah, well, Tim might be thinking about going up to the next stage. Um, you know, he's fully oh. walled. Could think about a sling. However, the max, as we uh, as we predicted earlier on, taking a lot of gold without a military building. He's playing as a Chinese and decided to go siege Monk Rush. And these walls are not going to hold for very long without any support from from uh, CL. Yeah, that's true. I didn't see it. Um, Tim was actually going for gold there uh, on the north of his map. Where the bars are as well. So yeah, that's true. So he is actually up to something. And Let's right see. now, it's important that CL realizes that his teammate is in trouble. And I think the best option for him would be Scout Cavalry. However, a CL right now going up with his first barracks doesn't have a hell of a lot of a food economy. He has uh, eight fishing ships, which is good. But he'll certainly need more. Getting a scale barding armor. And we have Tim making coinage right now. Exactly. He could be in a bit of trouble. That's very true, that's very true. I mean, we also uh, need to pay attention to the fact that the distance between Tim and CL is quite huge there, you know? So if CL wants to help anytime soon, he needs a long, long way, a uh, long, long time uh, to go all the way in order to reach his mate over there. So let's see. And already two mangonels, two monks coming in through Tim's walls. Uh, panic mode now for Tim as all of his resources oh, yes. are completely exposed. He's going to drop a barracks of his own, which is not great. He's supposed to be slinging. He's oh, not yeah. supposed to be defending himself. We need to see yeah. Tim come in here real quick with uh, scouts in order to keep this game even. Yeah, so we see the stable from CL coming. But I guess that's even way too late because there are two mangonels, as you've mentioned, and a couple of monks there. So if he wants to come with some uh, scouts, it'll be over for the TC till then. Yeah, this TC already halfway down. If you're <laughs> if you're Tim, just run, man, run, run right yeah, now to the north side of the map. There's nothing left for you here. No more scouts um, left. A CL getting forging right now, but still no scouts out on the field. Oh God. There goes the TC. Yeah, down goes the town center. Tim running for his life. Luckily, these units are very slow and they won't be able to chase. So, uh, Tim will be able to rebuild. He's lost a lot of farms, lost a lot of infrastructure here. And that will definitely put, put his sling behind. Meanwhile, we have Valise is still in the feudal age. I don't believe he's slinging. I didn't see coinage come in. Now going to Castle Age, we have two Castle Age players essentially against another yeah. Castle Age player who's not really receiving any sort of sling at all. Mm, that's true, that's true. So I'm just wondering how Tim will come out of this uh, situation without being, you know, GG'd anytime soon. Because he will go for the sling, he will continue to do the sling. He goes for, uh, I mean, he doesn't attempt to build a TC anytime soon, he just goes for the wood now. With his mass migration there, he also gets a lot of stone and uh, gold. But yeah, and there we see the scouts of uh, CL incoming now. Uh, they've managed to get one mangonel there, but uh, if he does... Here comes the conversions. These are very important. One piece of wall not getting deleted by Tim. That's a little bit of misplay. Awesome, Mike Mangonel shot. Oh my gosh. Wow. Killing two wow. scouts. And that's a huge win for the Max. He's able to continue to push in now. Wow, that was really good. That was really good. CL didn't manage to get uh, all of the monks. Just one monk. Uh... Oh, but a lucky knight sneaking through, and there's no more faith on those monks, so we'll be able to get two more monks. They're going to run back real slowly. And uh, those knights could clean up everything if we don't see another great conversion coming in here. And they're going to run back. Hmm. Wow. So I'm not very sure if it was the best decision for to go to, uh, for knights now. I mean, he needs knights in general. I mean, I'm talking about CL now. Uh, he needs knights in general in order to uh, have some dangerous army there but the monks will be able to deal with that especially if the numbers are uh, up again with the monks this is but such now... a bad uh, position for the frantic team um as this all was going on all this action going on we saw um cl actually lose all of his fishing ships to the uh, the galleys of valise 
So that might have hurt uh, CL's food economy quite a bit there, which is why we don't see more knights at the stage. Right now, CL needs to get back in this game, get some great raiding done. Not going to find any ratings under this town center. Maybe you'll find yep. it under this left town center, and it doesn't look like it. <laughs> at least his knight's got some text this time. It's plus one. So that's not that's not perfect. I mean, you know how to go beneath uh, town centers. I always go for plus two defense. But he still tries it out now, and he tries to get some, uh, and he manages to get some bushes there. But at the same time, he's also uh, sacrificing his knights. This could potentially be a good raid as these villagers kind of run all the way around. I, I want to address a question in the chat, which was um, regarding what slinging is. Basically, slinging is sending your opponent uh, resources. There is a tax on it. But the reason it's really strong in Age of Empires is because it takes a lot of resources to go up to the next age. And by investing those, giving those resources to someone who's already in the next age, they can make a much stronger army than you two could um, individually. Exactly. So it's a really strong strategy in Age of Empires team games, but in some situations, um, not, not as strong in other situations. Uh, Frantic getting really aggressive, placing a uh, town center here. And, sorry, uh, Siege Workshop, and we know that Frantic that uh, Frantic needs to do the damage now. They need to even up this villager number and this tech at disadvantage with uh, two Castle Age players. That's true. I mean, at least at least CL has a decent number of knights, also one camel there, a couple of monks. That's good. I mean, he needs to do this now. If he didn't do this, it would be over by now, but he's getting up those knights. Numbers are going up and up. He has a lot of stables there, so... Uh, he goes for the action now. Valise is in trouble now. Yeah, in the previous game we talked about the potential strength of the Persian sling with the great economy and some great knights. However, one thing that uh, that's, um, they're maybe neglecting a little bit is the Max is moving in on the right side, has four monks. So Mangonels can really do some damage here. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh, and great, a castle came up from Valise. That'll really help to, uh, to prevent, these, uh, prevent uh, CL from getting inside these walls. Yeah, that's true indeed. The Max is approaching really, really close there. And this TC will be <laughs> GG as well very soon. If if uh, CL doesn't help him out there. There we go. So CL moving to the north to address this. Should be able to cle um, to uh, cleanly um, you know, pick this off. However, his attention is no longer focused on Valise. So won't really be able to do economy damage. Here comes... Um, four conversions, and it looks like maybe only one or two were converted. So that's not too mm. bad. We'll see cleanup by uh, by CL, but the question is, where does it go from here? Yeah, that's true. I mean, he manages to uh, get rid of the army of the Max, but at the same time now, at the same time now, Valise is safe again. He had the time uh, with the stone walls to build up his castle. Now his uh, base ne ne seems way safer now. Therefore, uh. Yeah, CL didn't manage to get into his base, and Valise is uh, continuing to boom. And I have to ask myself, why why has um, why has the Max not uh, walled himself off? It's a it's a very easy wall to get between the uh, the wood lines and the stable, and now mm -hmm. a bunch of knights rolling in. The players not really making that much of a defense. We see a few monks, but no pikemen. Um, right now we're just relying on Mangadai, which is good in the late game, but in the short term. Mangadai with no upgrades are really not going to be able to contend with well upgraded Persian knights. Exactly. I mean, Mang uh, Mangadai's are really cool and they can kite well, but you're right, without any upgrades, it will be quite difficult. I mean, this could be a decision that loses them the game, not being able to wall this. Um, they had all the opportunity in the world to be able to do so, and yet they chose to play this uh, greedy. That's very true. That's very, very true. I mean, you said correctly, you could you could have walled this one up uh, really easily with the stables there. Uh, just connect them with the wood lines there. Didn't happen. And someone else mentioning in the chat, um, which is correct, uh, Tim still has a high population. Didn't really lose any villagers in that raid. So at least that's going to help, um, that's going to help um, CL a little bit. Most of Tim's, uh, Tim's sling, it looks like, is going to be wood, though. Wood and gold. So not so mm -hmm. much food, which is usually uh, what's in need. Tons, tons of knights from CL though. Yeah, that's true. I didn't expect this to happen. So many knights, and also they're well taxed there. Plus two defense, that's really good. Yeah, these big guys are really not going to do anything uh, against plus two knights. 
at this stage of the game. Right now, CL thinking about going into Imperial Age, even getting a Mangadai conversions, which is huge. And this could potentially be the end of the Max. The Max needs a castle, or he needs something to defend himself. That's true. That's really impressive. I didn't expect this at all. And now we see it's uh, CL's clicking up for Imperial Age, while uh, Gleese is trying to get Botkin Arrow there in order to uh, improve his Mangadai. But I guess it's a little bit too late there. Even though he's clicking up as well now. Okay. Yeah, so in a sense, uh, early on in this game, um, the Chinese team taking a big advantage, uh, and then a mistake from, uh, from the Finnish team allowing this game to be a little more even at this stage. We now have uh, two players going into the Imperial Age. We have Valise and CL. Do you think Valise will be able to be enough of a contender to keep, CL, to keep the max in this game? That's a good question, but if we look at the numbers of uh, Mango Dice there, and I expect him to go for more Mango Dice, it'll be quite difficult, because we have to uh, keep in mind that Mango Dice are being produced from castles, and so far I only see uh, two castles from Belize, and a lot of knights, and a lot of stables that produce knights by CL, and I think it's not gonna be possible. Yeah, talking about these army compositions, the uh, Mangadai requires a lot of upgrades, requires castles to be built, whereas the uh, the Persian Knights don't require upgrades. There is a built-in civ civ um, bonus against Mangadai there. However, two castles will be able to help prevent the raids. They're in not the best position because they don't have great map control right now, but it will be able to save at least a portion of the Max's economy. About half of the Max's economy has been... Uh, been ripped up as far as uh, space is concerned and he's down to 60 villagers now half of uh Belize's economy yeah and that's i guess the crucial point there the population difference is too extreme there and also the castles they afford a lot of idle time again so uh cl and tim actually able to uh you know proceed even more with the economy at the same time still score wise Belize quite impressive i must say i didn't expect him to be uh still that strong but i guess that's Mostly because he was able to defend his base really well there with some walling. Therefore, yeah, that's the power of the sling. Um, you know, CL not even up to the uh, recommended 120 villager number yet. Getting Cavalier. Uh -huh. And also on the top right, cleaning up the Max's town center and potential raiding, uh, raiding opportunity with those stables. So that's a good call from him, splitting up his knights a little bit. He's going to go back mm -hmm. for now, get the Cavalier upgrade. And we'll see if he pushes in with Cavalier or decides to tech into Paladin first. Yeah, true, true. Belize getting chemistry, husbandry, so he goes for full Mangadai there. Ah, uh, no, heavy camel too. Heavy camel, oh, there we go. Good choice, good choice. It's good for a meat shield, but the thing is, all of these technologies cost a lot of resources. Mm. It's um, it's going to be very hard. Um, Should be uh, mentioned as well, if you're a classic AOC player, which I know a lot of you on Vubli Official uh, were here and uh, watched a lot of AOC games, as I did, but uh, the Mangadai had been nerfed in one key way, um, the Elite Mangadai, in that their um, their firing delay has been reduced. Yep. And before, when they had no firing delay, they could pick off Paladins one by one by one and keep running away and never get touched. Now with that firing delay, they're not able to do so as well. Unfortunately, you're right. But that was maybe... Fortunately, unfortunately, depends who you ask. <laughs> The list is looking pretty bleak. Three castles for release. One is about to go down. Um, he's going to try to save it a little bit with those Mangadai. And uh, for now, CL is going to have to back off. But CL might still get this castle. And Paladin coming in. Here comes the Paladin upgrade. And uh, going to lose a few knights. I know what CL is doing. CL is trying to um, keep the Mangadai from going in and attacking in the um, mm -hmm. the trebuchet. However, doesn't really can't really do that without uh, losing too many knights, and he's just gonna, um, you know, gonna let uh, Valise take that trebuchet right now. Paladin almost done. Plus four armors almost done. This is a little bit of a waste of fight. I don't think CL can afford to take this fight right now. That's true. But as you said correctly, he wanted to keep those Mangadas away now, and now they're able to enter his base. This is huge, as um, as the Finnish team now retakes the score, and that was a very poor engagement from CL, just kind of standing there, not really doing a lot of damage, running yeah. back and forth, trying to, to distract the uh, Mangadai, but losing a lot of Cavalier in the process. Now, that is a huge mass of Mangadai. The castle is still up and building. Those Mangadai can maybe take on those uh, Paladins now. 
At the moment, they can indeed. That's true. So from CL, we need to see more Paladins coming out. Um, right now, I just see the small group on the left trying to raid on the right, but there's tons of camels there as well. Suddenly, the, the some of the police has hit his stride. He's gone into fifth gear, and he's got his full Mongols army composition in there, aside from maybe a little bit of siege. Looks like Valise is having a lot of trouble, and um, sorry, Valise and CL are uh, pretty evenly matched, maybe even a slight advantage to Valise, and we still haven't mentioned uh, the Max, who's in Castle Age and preparing a push on the right. Yeah, that's true. I'm just uh, watching all of this happening now at the moment, and it's quite impressive. I didn't expect Valise to be that strong now. I mean, the number of Mango Dice, they're insane. Also, it's uh, turned out to be a good idea to go for the Heavy Camels there, because, uh, as you said it, um, CL was tr attempting to raid Max a bit, but the Camels were there, saving the day. Therefore, quite well done by Valise at the moment. And the Castle by CL is down, so he's able to enter his base, and it doesn't look good for CL and Tim at all. Release research and coordinates should be able to do the reverse thing now and uh, help the max reach his population cap. The max now at 115 villagers. Tim only on 65 villagers. Uh, looking very, very poor for these guys. I assume the max may be able to contribute with some halberdier. And with that, maybe see the GG in this game as Tim is still in the feudal age. Yeah, still feudal age. And building stable too. Oh my god. Game freezing a little bit here. Oh, there we go. And uh, Valise, all he needs to do, really run in here, get some good Mangadai raids. If you encounter any Paladin, run back. And uh, I think he's a little concerned right now about this castle going down, though, in the back right. Yeah, but at the same time, there's nothing to save CL's base at the moment. It's quite exposed over there, if you watch it there, the TC's. And the villagers, they are all outside because the TCs are full. And, and this now... could be the raid that ends the game as the Mangadai get in right under there. Out of all the units you hate to see in your economy, I think Mangadai are absolutely the worst. However, this might be a decent engagement for uh, CL. Remember, again, the Persians plus two attack versus uh, Archer and Cavalry Archer type units. Yeah. So they're able to do some good damage here. However, the Mangadai are on top of a hill. And mm -hmm. uh, looks like a little bit of mutual destruction as uh, Valise will still keep his Mangadai alive. All right, the max reached the pure age. Let's see what he's going to do with that now. Yeah, it looks like the max is going to go into heavy camel himself. We saw how effective that can be for the Mongols. Can be even more effective for the Chinese, which get better upgrades on their cavalry. Of course, the Mongols um, lacking the last armor upgrade, and um, Valise being stopped a little bit by CL. However, with such a uh, food and gold intensive unit, it's going to be hard for uh, CL to maintain production of that. How much gold do they have? Really not a lot, as um, as CL has been raided quite a few times on the gold on the right with the castle on it. And I don't see really that much more gold on the map um, available to these players. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a little bit of gold left, but uh, Valise is actually taking control over that one. He's placing the castle next to his gold there. A lot of gold there. And that could be really decisive there. Because then the Paladins won't be produced anymore because of the lack of gold. And there we go, that's a GG. And there's the GG. Wow, what a game. That was uh, quite an excellent display of, you know, both the strengths and the weaknesses of, of the sling strategy. What do you think were some of the keys to this game? Well, good question now. I mean, we have to uh, pay attention that Tim actually lost his uh, base over there. So that was actually... Uh, a bad thing. The the key about that is probably um, CL not being able to uh, help him out as fast as possible due to the distance, maybe. Yeah, and also uh, losing the fish there too. So really yeah, hurting true, that true, sling true. early on. I'd say so. Yeah, that was maybe really important there. So it was a two v one for a little bit of time. Then you know Tim came back by having back his base over there in the north, also being able to sling and whatnot, but. All in all, unfortunately, not enough for CL and Tim. Yeah, Didn't and the that. Max not getting up those walls, so CL able to do some ratings. They were able to defend with some castles, and uh, somehow Valise was able to mass those Mangadai. And uh, as well, uh, CL taking a pretty poor uh, engagement with his Cavalier early on when there was uh, that Trebuchet Castle War, losing a lot of Cavalier. And after that, you had that huge mass of Mangadai, and uh, from there, 
It's really hard to stop that. Very true. Even though um, the walling mistake there uh, from the Max, I thought this would be uh, crucial. But it turned out that he could actually uh, fight this off somehow. Also, the double castles there in the base of uh, the Max and Valise turned out to be a really good idea there. I didn't expect all of this to happen like this. I Absolutely. Many and with chances. that, I think we'll go on to game three. My name is Nobody, and this was Dem Red Eyes. See you soon. Hello there.